Rising above the African landscape, we see the amazing dome of the Our Lady of Peace Basilica in Yamusukro, a replica of the Vatican finished in 1989 after just three years of work. The Mammoth Church was the undertaking of a pious ex-president of the Ivory Coast who squandered his fortune and built this basilica as a gift to the Vatican. 17 acres of the finest European marble. It's got everything. I'm lost among hundreds of Doric columns. Actually, there are 127. To compound the picture, the Holy Compound includes a replica of St. Peter's Square, including Benini's open-air arrangement of columns. Given its exotic location, it's no surprise to find it empty. After all, people around here have other equally respectable belief systems. This drawing shows a comparison of the original and the replica. Imagine. It sits 7,000 people, and every pew has air conditioning and speakers for sound. Astounding and dreadfully wasteful. Eighty thousand square feet of stained glass windows casting light and color on the interior. One of the huge stained glass windows depicts the arrival of Christ in Jerusalem astride a donkey, with the pious ex-president kneeling before him. There's a certain artistic license, of course. Under the baldachin, there's a solid gold cross weighing 110 pounds. Not very logical considering that Jesus was poor, as poor as most inhabitants of this continent. Astonished by this unexpected luxury in the heart of Africa, I'm off to a more Spartan environment, 